file methods in python so there are so many different methods are there and depending upon the input argument variation different methods or the same methods may have different implications so here in this video we shall be discussing different file methods in python so here we are having some list of methods so let me discuss some of them at least so this is the method name and there is the description so close close an open file and it it has no effect if the file is already closed detach separate the underlying binary buffer from the text io base and return it next one is a file you know return an integer number there is a file descriptor of the file so each and every file when it will get opened then it will be attached with some file descriptor number so that number will be returned so using this method file no there is a file number we are having this flush flush the write buffer of the file stream so whatever uh, characters are there in the in the buffer write buffer so they will be cleared and next one is the is a tty so it returns true if the file stream is interactive so read n read at most n characters from the file read till end of the file if it is a negative or none we are having this readable so returns true if the file stream can be read from so that is a readable will be returning boolean so either it will return true or false so read line n is equal to minus 1 so read and return one line from the file and reads in at most n bytes if specified so that is the n bytes are there and this minus 1 is there so read and return one line from the file and read at read in at most n bytes and if the n is specified in the parameter we are having these read lines where n is equal to minus 1 so read and return a list of lines from the file and read in at most n bytes or characters if specified then we are having this seek offset from is equal to seek underscore set so change the file position to offset bytes in reference to from there is a start current and end so that is a file pointer will have some movement will have some progress depending upon the parameters whatever we have passed next one is a seekable returns true if the file stream supports random access so if you can go for the random accessing of the file content then it will return the output true so it returns boolean so next one is a tell returns the current file location so where is the where is the respective file pointer location to which location it is pointing to the current location will be returned here truncate size is equal to n1 so resize the file stream to size a bytes and if the size is not specified research to current location we are having this writable returns true if the file stream can be written to so in this way you are having different functions are there methods are there you can easily pause the video and go through them and obviously we shall we shall write some codes on them so here you see in previously we had read lines so here that were in that case we had n is equal to minus 1 but here you see n is equal to 0.1 so what are the respective changes we are having the, almost the same methods the same method lists are there but the input parameters are getting deferred so what is the changes respectively that has been depicted in this method and the description column till returns the current file location so it is same because we are not passing any parameter to that truncate size is equal to n1 so resize the file stream to size bytes if the size is not specified it is searched to the current location so in this way in this video we have discussed different file methods available in python thanks for watching this video